Why do elite lifters bench differently? The House of Hypertrophy YouTube channel had this to say. The novices lifted the bar straight up initially and then back over the shoulders. Conversely, elite lifters push the bar back initially and then straight up. This technique seems to be substantially more efficient in helping you lift heavier loads, likely because it makes the exercise easier on the shoulders. The real difference, however, is the utilization of the latissimus dorsi. I've drawn a line in red here representing the lats. The elite lifters know to arch their back, which increases the angle between the arm and the spine, allowing the lats to kickstart the movement. My animations are going to make House of Hypertrophy look like a Pixar movie, but here is my stick man. He has pink shoulders, orange elbows and blue hands, and a green party hat. Here he is holding a barbell to his chest, representing what people think the lats look like in this position. What I am saying is that it is actually more like this. This is what the latissimus looks like, and you need to imagine it sort of like a crane. It's anchored to the spine and it has a cable at the end. We don't expect a crane to exert force in this direction, but rather we expect it to exert force like this. The pivotal point, literally, is far removed from the origin of the latissimus dorsi. This can be exploited intuitively by someone experienced in bench pressing. The most crucial moment in the bench press is when you convert downward motion to upward motion. And that's the exact moment the latissimus can fire like a piston and kickstart the movement if your back is arched. After the elbows have gone past the hips, the lats are of no use, but if you've got that far, you probably have enough momentum to continue the movement. 